Hey folks, Wally DM here, and today we're going to take a look at a 3x3 grid square logic puzzle that involves color tiles. Now this can be used to either open a door, maybe a secret compartment, or some type of a treasure chest. That's up to you as the game master to decide. Now of course I do want to say thank you to DM Mycicle over in the Wally DM Discord for submitting this puzzle to the Discord and for letting me present it on my channel. Now at the end of today's video, I'm going to offer an alternate way to run this puzzle that does not include color tiles, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. And also, I will have a few tokens that I'm using in this video for a virtual tabletop game, and if you'd like these tokens to use in your own game, I'm going to put links to those in the description below. You can download those for free. Now let's get started. So today we're going to take a look at a logic puzzle that's going to need to be solved in order to get through a door. Now our adventuring party is going to enter a room very similar to this, and we'll have a couple of things for them to look at. The first and most obvious, of course, is going to be our door that they're going to need to get through, but this is magically sealed by a 72nd level wizard, so the only way they're going to be able to get through this door and either to continue on or maybe open up some type of a secret room is by solving the puzzle. Now if one of our characters were to come over and take a look at this door, they're going to see a panel on the wall and this panel is going to be a 3x3 three three grid creating a section of nine tiles and all nine of these tiles are going to start off being the color white. Now if a character were to press any of these tiles, they're going to change colors and as they press them, it's going to cycle through a bunch of different colors and those colors are going to be brown, green, pink, yellow, red, blue, orange, gray, and purple. Now if they set one, let's say that the character sets the first square as red and then attempts to press the second square, they'll be able to cycle through the rest of the colors, but red won't appear again. So each color can only be used once. So now if the characters were to go through and press all of them and assign each tile a color, we're going to have an incorrect solution and nothing's going to happen. Now as an alternative to a keypad or a colored tile pad that's on the wall, maybe you want to make this an actual tile puzzle. So when the characters come in here, they're going to see these large tiles and they're going to see this indentation on the ground and they'll actually have to be able to pick these up and set them into place in order to try to unlock the door. Now another option, instead of a large tile on the floor or a keypad on the wall, you could also put this flat along some type of a treasure chest or something and maybe shrink those tiles down to size. Totally up to you how you would run the puzzle. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. But to get back to this color tile logic puzzle, we're going to need some more information and that's going to be found over here on this desk. So if one of our other characters were to come over and search the desk, they're going to find a wizard's journal and inside of the wizard journal is going to be our clues and they're going to read as follows. Green and orange are on opposite corners. Orange is in the bottom row, blue is directly above yellow, purple is directly above brown, yellow is directly to the left of purple, purple is not the center tile, pink is adjacent to orange, gray is directly above red. So by taking a look at these clues and knowing that you can only use one color per tile, this is going to take a little bit of work. This is definitely a logic puzzle that's going to need pencil and paper and for the players to put their heads together in order to solve it. And so with all of the information given and the clues from the journal, do you know how to solve the puzzle? I'll give you a second if you'd like to figure it out. Did you get it? Great! Let's go over the answer. So let's take a look at how to solve this and we're going to go through line by line. The first line says green and orange are opposite corners. So our four corners are either going to be green or orange. The second line says orange is on the bottom row. So already we're able to eliminate a few. Orange is not going to be on the top, so we'll X those out. And green is not going to be on the bottom because it has to be opposite corners, so we'll X those out. Our next clue says blue is directly above yellow. We're going to use the letter U for blue. So blue could possibly be any of these six squares as long as it's above yellow. And yellow can be any of these six squares as long as it's below blue. Our next clue says purple is directly above brown. So very much similar to blue and yellow, purple can be any of these six squares. And brown, we're going to use a W, can be any of these six squares as long as brown is below purple. Our next clue says yellow is directly to the left of purple. So yellow cannot be in the third column because it has to be to the left of purple. So we can eliminate yellow from the right column. 
And if yellow is directly to the left of purple, that means that purple can't be in the first column because there's no room for yellow over there. So we can take purple out of column one. Our next clue says that purple cannot be the center tile. Easy enough, we'll take purple out of the center. Our next clue says that pink is adjacent to orange. Now we know that either the bottom left or the bottom right have to be orange, and we're going to use the letter K for pink, so that one can be pink, this one can be pink, or that one can be pink. And our final clue says that gray is directly above red. So we're going to use a G in gray, and very similar to the others, the top six can be gray, and the bottom six could be red. So it looks like we have quite the mess here, all kinds of different possibilities. But even though this may look like chaos, we're actually not too far away from solving the puzzle. We just have to get on a little bit of a roll. So the first clue that we're going to start with is we're going to go back and look at yellow is directly to the left of purple. So let's take a look at where yellow is. The first instance of yellow is this square here, and since yellow is to the left of purple, but purple is not able to be in the center square, that means we can take that yellow out. We look at our bottom row, we have yellow, 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 but we have no purples, so that means that purple can't be down here because yellow has to be to the left of it. And then taking a look at our top rows, we have no yellows up here, so that also means that none of these can be purple because there's no yellow to the left. And that is going to leave this square as the only possible because we have purple here and we have yellow to the left of purple. So we're going to fill in our first two squares. We have purple and yellow. Our next clue to look at is gray is directly above red. That was our last clue. So taking a look at our grays, we have red here. So this could be gray. We do not have red here. We've already determined this square is going to be yellow. So we can take gray out of this one. And this square is purple, so that's not red. We can take gray out of there. And then we have gray is directly above red. This is yellow, so this cannot be red. And we have purple up here, so this cannot be red because directly above red needs to be gray. So that means that either this square or that square is gonna be gray. But in the meantime, we have isolated blue up here in the top square. So the only color that this can be is blue. And that again is because blue is directly above yellow and there's no other color options. And now that we have blue in place, we can take blue off of all the other ones. We can also take yellow off because we have yellow in place. And that is going to leave no colors up here in the top right except for green. So we know that we can put green in this square. And then going back to our very first clue, green and orange are on opposite corners. So if that color is green, then this square is going to be orange. And since green is over here, that eliminates green from this square, and the only possibility remaining is gray. So our top left square is going to be gray. Now going back to our last clue, if we remember, gray is directly above red. And since gray is there, that's going to eliminate all of these except for red. So red is going to be directly below gray, and gray is going to be directly above red. With just two colors remaining, one of our other clues says that pink is adjacent to orange. Since we have orange in place, the only place to be adjacent is going to be in that square. And then finally, we have our brown, and it is the only one remaining. This cannot be green, it can't be red, it's going to be brown. And that is going to solve our logic puzzle. And now with everything in place, our adventuring party can either continue through the dungeon by going through this door or accessing a room where there might be some fantastic treasure awaiting them. Now, one of the things that I have learned over the years of doing puzzles is there are some players that are colorblind. So I want to present an alternative to the color tile puzzle and involve something a little bit different. So in this version of the puzzle, we're going to use vegetables and herbs. And our puzzle is actually either going to be to open up a secret compartment in a kitchen or to open up a small recipe box. Maybe the characters are trying to find the secret recipe to somebody's fantastic tasting chicken. With that in mind, the only thing that I have done is I swapped out the colors for the names of herbs and vegetables. And if you would like to download these tiles, you can download the colors, you can download the colored vegetables, and you can download the black and white versions of the vegetables. All of these are available to you if you want to jump over into the Wall ADM Discord and pick them up, or if you want to click the link in the description below to go to my Patreon page, you can download those for free. But the way that this is going to work is cilantro and carrots are on opposite corners. Carrots are not in the bottom row. Chili peppers are directly above corn. Peas are directly above potatoes. Corn 
is directly to the left of peas. Peas are not the center tile. Onions are adjacent to carrots. And mushrooms are directly above tomatoes. So all I have done is replace the colors with herbs and vegetables, and we can manipulate the tiles and solve the puzzle. So that's all I have for you today. What did you think of the puzzle? Is it something that you would use in your game? And if so, what would you do differently? And again, a huge shout out and thank you to DM Mycicle for submitting the puzzle and let me present it in a video. Thank you very much for watching and on to the next.